Madam President, Foreign Minister welcomes the High Commissioner's report and echoes her concerns on the situation in Sri Lanka. Systematic surveillance and harassment of human rights defenders, civil society, journalists, victims and their families have escalated in the past year. Continued detention of human rights lawyer Hejaz Hezbollah since April 2020 reportedly under the Prevention of Terrorism Act is emblematic of the threats against human rights defenders in Sri Lanka. Such threats and fears of reprisals have led to increasing self-censorship and prevented active participation of defenders and victims in this session of the Council. First cremation of COVID-19 deceased, contrary to the beliefs of the Muslims and other minorities as well as WHO guidelines, and obstruction of memorialization of victims of the conflict by the Tamil community are some of the recent examples of the growing majoritarian policies that have led to resurgence of violence and discrimination against ethnic and religious minorities. The 20th Amendment to the Constitution, which undermines the independence of the judiciary and democratic institutions and removes institu institutional checks and balances, has accelerated Sri Lanka's descent towards authoritarianism. The government has actively obstructed investigations into past violations and demonstrated it has no intention of pursuing accountability. The Council should not be misled by the appointment of a yet another Commission of Inquiry. Any hope of justice for thousands of victims and survivors and preventing further deterioration in Sri Lanka lies in the Council's principled action based on the High Commissioner's recommendations. Thank you.